Hello students, welcome to English class. Today we are going to learn a new poem, A House, A Home, written by Lorraine Martha Halley. Before going to the lesson, let us discuss about the writer. Lorraine Martha Halley is an American poet who was born on December 8, 1921 in USA. Her writing style is simply yet thought-provoking. In this poem, she aims to make a clear difference between a house and a home. About the writer, she was graduated from Washburn High School in 1938 and she was a prolific lifelong writer. Her largely inspirational work appeared often in national publications. Okay children, now let's move to the poem. Please take your textbook. A house, a home. What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard. Some window glass and perhaps a yard. It eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and loads of doors. Children in this stanza, the poet is just explaining what all things or uh, you know ingredients or materials which are used to make a house. The poet here is telling that a house as a structure is made of bricks, stone and wood isn't it when you look into your house also you can see there are a lot of materials which are used to make a house is it and it also has windows glass and corridors or open spaces in front as well as back of the house maybe for gardening then maybe for going to kitchen so there are a lot of ingredients or you can say lot of components which makes a house and you can see tiles is it then paints then roofs are there then elevations of the roofs are there many doors are there so all these ingredients make a perfect house so when you just analyze the stanza you can understand that a house is comprised of many materials and that all materials are non-living things is it it's all just a structure the writer is also telling its eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors eaves means what eaves eaves means the part of the roof that hang out over the wall to provide shade and elevations is it after the roof you can see some uh, some sort of extra uh, hangs over the wall just to protect okay that part is called an eave then you can see the word yard yard means what yard means it's a just a measuring unit okay and the other meaning it can be like a garden or corridors outside the house that's also a yard okay so that is the summary of the first stanza so what we did what did we understand from the first stanza we understand that house is made of many ingredients okay it's made of brick it's made of stone it is made of wood then there will be glass then there are eaves and chimneys tile floors roof will be there door will be there stucco means it's fine paint which is used to level the surface of a wall that is called a stucco chimney means what you already know so chimney means it's a smokestack that means a pipe which takes smoke hmm? and it puts outside from the fire that is chimney you might have seen in olden houses right 
a long pipe which takes smokes that's called a chimney okay so from the first answer we understand houses made of lot of materials and that's a combination of non living things it's all just materials now come to stanza 2 put us a home it's loving in family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing in showing your loved ones you are always caring what the writer is telling in this stanza here you know the poet is explaining what is the meaning of a home what make a house it's already explained now what is a home that is being explained by the writer in stanza 2 in a place called home you can see a lot of family members who are they brothers will be there sisters will be there then mother father so all these people together make a home then they are asked their acts what kind of acts they are showing without any selfish interest i said your parents are working for you without any selfish interest you all are helping each other without any selfish intentions is it they are concerned for each other they wish to work for each other they wish to care for each other and they are all work together to bring happiness and well being in the family is it so all unselfish acts like sharing caring showing concern towards the loved ones all this constitute a home okay they wish to show love and care towards each other and that makes a home is it here unselfish means without any selfish interest okay so what did we understand from stanza 2 we understand that a home means it constitute lots of family members like brother sister mothers fathers on all these people together make a home and they all act without any selfish interest they love each other they care each other they work for each other then they all work together for happiness and well-being of the family so that constitute a home so children i will just tell you the summary the whole summary of the poem in this poem we learned about a house and a home what is the difference between a house and a home okay so in first stanza we understand that houses made up of materials like brick stone wood and it also has window glass and corridors and open space in front and back of the house even for gardening okay then there are tiles of floor fine paints are there roof elevations you know all these materials constitute a house and that house is completely made up of non living things it's just a structure but when you come to home is different is it it's all family members like brother sister mother father all, all these people together make a home they act without any selfish interest is it and they work for each other they create happiness and well-being for in everybody in the house so all these constitute a home home means it consists of family members while house means it is just a structure is it um without family members do you think it is uh, good to live in a house no a house will be a home only when it is filled with family members who care work without selfish interest and they have concern for each other then only a house will be a home 
okay children hope you all understood this poem thank you for listening